Christmas. Remember, Christmas is not just a day, it's a season. It goes all the way to January 6th, Epiphany. So we welcome you to our service today. Open your hearts and minds and worship with us. Get ready for our call to worship. Good morning. Please join in the call to worship. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those, Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, darkness on them light has shined. Come, let us worship the God whose, whose light, light brings hope to a weary world. world. Please join in singing Angels from the Realms of Glory. seeking light in our neighborhoods we, we are, are seeking, seeking light. light in our families we, we are, are seeking light in our work we, we are, are seeking, seeking light. light in grace we are, we are seeking, seeking light. light in our nation we, we are, are seeking light in our world we, we are, are seeking light. light seek and you shall find knock and the door will be opened Ask, and it shall be given to you. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, you are the light of the world. world. May, May we have eyes to see you and ears to hear you come into our world today. Amen. We're so glad that you've joined us today, and we have a very special treat for this first Sunday after Christmas. We have our choir cantata. We'll be taking the tape of last year's cantata called The Voices of Christmas. So join us in worship with our sanctuary choir singing The Voices of Christmas. Thank you. 
a voice of one calling. In the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our Lord. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all mankind together will see it. I am the voice of Isaiah, the voice of all who encourage others. I am the voice of the volunteer in the soup kitchen, satisfying another's hunger. I am the voice of the therapist, restoring someone's peace of mind. I am the voice of the pastor, visiting the homebound. I am the voice of the counselor, listening to those bound by addiction. For all who encourage others, I am the voice of Isaiah. I am the voice that answers your cries. Prepare your hearts. The one you have longed for is near. Went to her and said, 
Mary, you have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. <coughs> I am the voice of Gabriel, the voice of messengers. I am the voice of the clergy, heralding salvation. I am the voice of the missionary, bringing the good news of Christ's coming to all lands in other languages. I am the voice of the hospital chaplain, giving comfort to those in pain. For all who are messengers, I am the voice of Gabriel. I give this message, do not fear, for the Lord is with you.
and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And the angel said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. I am the voice of the shepherd, the voice of the common man. I am the voice of the farmer planting crops. I am the voice of the nurse holding the hand of the sick. I am the voice of the teacher encouraging young minds. For all who work in the mainstream of life, I am the voice of the shepherd. I am the voice who speaks. Receive the good news that Christ has come to all.
I am the voice of the skies, proclaiming the works of his hands. I am the voice of the ocean waves, thunderously applauding God's might. I am the voice of the lion, the eagle, the well, and the whisper of the butterfly. I am the voice of all creation. I bear witness to God's majesty. For all that God has made, I am the voice of the star. With everything that has breath, I am the voice that praises the Creator born into his own creation. Trying to pay bills. 
I am the voice of the widow facing loneliness. For all who look at the future with uncertainty, for all who seek guidance, I am the voice of Joseph. I am the voice that prays. Show me where to turn, O Lord, and I will follow in your path. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before him. 
Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. I am the voice of silence, the still, small whisper of the soul, the voice of all who quiet their hearts. I am the voice so easily drowned out by the clamor of everyday life. I am the voice ignored by those who fill their ears with the noise of this world. I am the voice that can only be heard when the soul is still. I am the voice from above, heard from within. I am the voice of truth and the voice of revelation. I am the voice of worship. For all who quiet their hearts, I am the voice that says, I am God, be still and worship me.
thing which we have heard, which we have seen with our own eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim to you. We proclaim to you the eternal life which was the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim this to make our joy complete. Go now into all the world and proclaim the good news to all creation. I am the voice of all people, past, present, and future. I am the voice of Israel, the voice of all who wait alone. I am the voice of Isaiah, the voice of all who encourages others. I am the voice of Gabriel, the voice of all who are messengers of the good news. I am the voice of Mary, the voice of all who are filled with wonder. I am the voice of the shepherd, the voice of all who work in the mainstream of life. I am the voice of the star, the voice of all that God has created. I am the voice of Joseph, the voice of all who seek guidance. I am the voice of silence, the voice of all who quiet their hearts. I am your voice and mine, and the voice of all those still to come. Together we are all present at the manger. We have all witnessed the birth of Christ. The Word has become flesh and dwells among us. We are the voices who share what we have seen with all those who have not heard. We are the voices of Christmas.
part in singing the Hallelujah Chorus. We have the music up here for you. All singers come up and let's pack up this place as we're singing Joy to the World, number 246. Let's all sing together.
thanking the congregation for being here, also for Jimmy and for John's direction. Let's give them all a big hand. Thank you.